Hey what's up guys, it's Abby here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, it's been a while since I've done um, a video about industrial engineering. And as promised naman sa inyo, nagagawa pa ako na mas maraming videos related to that or on our series. It's because some of you are messaging me na natutulungan kayo na to decide on what course to take or to know more about industrial engineering and for this episode what we're going to talk about is the common misconceptions about industrial engineering so just a disclaimer i know there are still a lot of things that i not going to the video na to, so pauna, sorry about that if you're excited as i am so please keep on watch One, two three fuck it my darling i love you i love you i love you i love you, I love you. First and foremost, unahin na natin ito dahil ito ang lagi ko nakukuha. Parang may tatanong sa akin. Ate, madaling nga po ba industrial engineering? Yan daw po kasi yung pinakamadaling course. <laughs> Ganun yung reaction ko, B. Every time na nakakarinig ako or nakakakita ako ng comments ng industrial engineering or the easiest major in engineering, girl, no. Oh. As a matter of fact, um, isa kami, sa may, isa kami, isa tayo sa may pinakamaraming mathematics subjects um, logic-related logic subjects. Yung sabi sa amin ni Sir Mark. Shout out po kay Sir Mark. Ano nandun siya. And I feel like kaya sinasabi ng tao na madali lang yung industrial engineering is because hindi siya kasing kilala ng civil, ECE, ng EE, na petroleum engineering. Hindi siya ganun kakilala. Personally, I do not believe in that kasi I am a witness of how hard it is to deal with our subjects, with our professors, with the current curriculum. It's really hard. And naniniwala din ako, guys, na no subject is easy. No course is easy. Naniniwala ako doon. Like, marami nagsasabi na kapag ganito lang yung course mo, madali lang yan, kaya kaya mo ipasa yan. Eh, kung ganito yung course mo, mahirap yan, ganyan. I do not feel comfortable with that kind of stereotype. Stereotype mo yung tawag niya. I don't know. Pero I don't feel comfortable with that because I feel like wala naman talagang madaling course. Lahat ng course mahirap. Dumadali siya in terms if in terms if in terms of your capabilities in terms of your eagerness to learn so ayun yeah. ngayon para sabihin ko sa inyo hindi madali ang industrial engineering i am irregular because it's not as easy as you think it is so second misconception is that ie stands for instant engineers hindi daw siya industrial engineer hindi instant engineers but simply because we do not have um, board examination Kung hindi nyo pa alam guys, marami pag nagtatanong sa akin ngayon kung meron bang board exam ang IE, licensure exam ang IE. Wala po. After we graduate, we are considered engineers already. It is your choice to take the certification examination or not. Pero there are wide there are wide opportunities if you are a certified industrial engineer. Pero kung hindi ka naman certified industrial engineer, meron din mga opportunities for you. Pero hindi siya kasing lawak ng opportunities na meron yung certified industrial engineer. Well, personally, ang alam ko is unlike um other other engineering majors like civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electronical engineering, yung core subject nila is for example sa civil um feeling ko am um, engineering mechanics yung kanilang pinaka core subject. Sa so, industrial engineering kasi we have multiple, multiple. We have multiple core subjects. Ibig sabihin, makakaya maraming bagay yung kailangan pag kailangan pagtuunan ng IE ng pansin. That is why IE is considered as the jack of all trades, guys. Sa field kasi, well, when we are in the work field na, industrial engineers can be fit into every kind of work. If you gusto mo sa healthcare, go, pwede ka doon. If gusto mo sa company, small company, financial related company, um, gusto mo sa banko, gusto mo sa construction company, gusto mo sa small business, gusto mo magtay na isang small business, um, any kind of work, any kind of business, any kind of company, they are all in need of industrial engineers. Magkakaroon, if magkakaroon ng examination ng IE, it would be, um, it would be, um, a long term of review, I think ha, like for example na may maggawa ng examination kung saan napakarami niyang, it, it consists of multiple core subjects, like sobrang dami kasi. Kaya ako honestly, hindi ko alam if, if I am into the licensure exam of IE kasi personally, um, I, I don't see any problem with us not having um, licensure examination simply because, Ano ba pinag-aiba na? 
Kaya ang tingin ko sa certification exam namin is that is our kind of licensure exam. Pero na nga lang, ang pinakaiba na lang namin is we can practice um, our um, capabilities as engineers if and without the certification unlike to other engineering majors. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. Pero ayun, pa. bakit ba consider ng IE na instant engineers? Merely kasi yun lang talaga eh. Yun lang talaga yung reason ng tao. And in engineering in general, siguro doon siya mag apply engineering in general. Hindi siya specific for industrial engineer. No social skills. Kadalasan, di ba, if napapansin nyo, kapag nagtatanong sa inyo yung tao na, napapansin nyo ba yun, every time na magtatanong sa inyo yung tao kung anong course nyo, at sinagot nyo yung engineering. Eh, pag engineering pa lang ha, wala ka, palang, wala ka pang major. Yung word pa lang engineering. People would assume na matalino ka. People would assume na you have high capabilities, di ba? At yung isang kadugtong nun is, wala kang social skills. You are not into socializing with people. Kasi the most of the people, especially here in the Philippines, kapag book geek ka, kapag medyo matalino ka, hindi ka marunong makahalubilo sa ibang tao. Ganon mostly yung misconception dito sa Pilipinas. And I do not believe in that. And especially sa IE, hindi pwede na wala kang social skills. Okay? If you're going to take industrial engineering, it is very important that you have Social is an introvert, okay lang. Basta you are willing to talk to other people because our work, our field requires talking to other people, working with other people, cooperating, team building. It's all about leadership. Very essential na ma-practice nyo ngayon pa lang yung social, socializationism. Fourth misconception. So, um, fourth misconception would apply to engineering in general then Hindi siya specific for IE. Is engineering is just for men. Ano yun? Ano yun ang Gun are the days. Gun are the days that we uh we apply gender discrimination and gender stereotyping. Ako, I am a believer that hindi lahat ng mga kawan ng lalaki we can also do that. And the things that women can do, kaya din naman yung gawin ng mga lalaki. Babae ka dapat sa bahay ka lang. Dapat pag babae ka, ikaw yung tagalaga, tagalaba, tagalaga ng mga anak nyo. Ganon yung um current situation. Current na current ha. Pero gano'n yung thinking ng mga Pilipino talaga. And it's time, guys. Kung hindi, man siya, kung hindi pa siya nababago, hindi ko alam kasi, based on my observation naman, parang medyo umangakin na naman siya. So we have to change that misconception kasi there are a lot of opportunities in the world. Sobrang daming opportunities na open for boys, for girls, for women and men. We just have to embrace it and we just have to allow Um, it's individual to apply to those jobs, to those quality, to those opportunities. Because we all deserve to work. We all deserve to do what can make us happy. It's not our duty to tell them not, not to apply to this kind of, of work of field just because of their gender. Because lahat ng bagay kaya gawin basta pa yung sumikapan. So, Alisin na natin yan, guys. Alisin na natin yan, ganyan klase ng thinking kasi. Last misconception on my list is ang industrial engineering, kapag graduate, may ka agad ang sahabod niya, mag-range agad yan ng 50,000. Pagka-graduate na pagka-graduate, nag a ng trabaho, matik yan, ganyan yung sahabod niya. Ay, nagawa, siya na all. Hindi totoo, guys, na after you graduate is sobrang taas na agad ng ng position mo and ng sahod mo, hindi yun totoo. Everything needs to be done step by step. Wala namang supervisor or yung mga tao nasa mataas na position. Pero nanong ko kung ikaw yung may hari ng kumpanya. Na pagkapasok mo, pagkapasok mo dun is matik na sa taas ka na agad. I don't think may ganun. And hindi ganun yun, guys. Okay? Kasi naniniwala din ako na mas masarap yakapin yung success, mas masarap i-reap yung success When you really worked hard for it, when you really climb your way up, para makuha talaga yun. And hindi lahat ng bagay na kukuha sa madali. Ang walang magandang bagay na kukuha sa madali. And everything in this world takes time. And you have to stick that into your mind. That if you want something, if you want to achieve something, if you want to get something, work hard for it. Hindi pag hindi pwede yung gusto mo pagising, tutulog ka tapos pagising mo mayaman ka na, milyonaryo ka na. Kung ganun sila, I be congratulations sa inyo. Pero again, that does not apply to everybody. Mas maganda pa rin yung nag-work hard tayo for us to be able to achieve our dreams. So, ayun. 
yun na po ang last na misconception yun na ba? Yun ko, that is it guys for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Kung meron man akong hindi mga nabanggit, you can comment it down below. Again, my comment section is always open for your suggestions, for your comments, for your questions. Open yan lagi. Also, my Facebook page. Excuse me. You can like my Facebook page here. You can also follow me on Bigo kasi nag-live ako doon. And also on Kumu. Nag-live stream ako doon. So, if you guys want to catch up with me live, you can go there. Pero minsan naman nag-live stream din ako dito sa YouTube pag hindi ako makapag-upload. So, hopefully, magdala-dala na itong continuous uploads natin. Hopefully, talaga. Um, guys, nag-text ako ng NDR RMC. Of course, you guys will also receive that. We experience an um, earthquake and may paparating din na, ty na typhoon and we are in this pandemic. I just want to take this opportunity to tell you guys to please keep safe and strengthen your faith to God. Always pray and uh, everything shall pass and in God's perfect time, I know everything will be okay. Thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below for any video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell and always remember to make your eyebrows on the plate. Bye! That's a magic. I finally lost a pick up.